Designs in the City of Brockville present the 2017 Brockville Home Show April 28th and 29th at the Memorial Center. There will be more local trades and professionals at the show with great services offered in the design, build, buy and renovate professions to the local Leeds and Grenville community. There will also be guest speakers, live events, a charity chicken barbecue and much more. The 2017 Brockville Home Show, Friday April 28th and Saturday April 29th at the Brockville Memorial Center. For more information, please visit BrockvilleHomeShow.ca. Sponsored in part by DCE Media Productions and Hometown TV 12. The third annual Brockville Winter Classic Weekend was another great success this past weekend in the city. It started out on Friday night with the player draft for Saturday's local Heroes Tournament held at the Keystorm Pub. It also featured a surprise guest, Boston Bruins alumni Ray Bork. On Saturday was the annual Winter Classic played on the Rotary Ice Pad. It featured four local teams, Thousand Islands Toyota, Keystorm Pub, Spicer's Moving, and Thousand Islands Restaurant and Pizzeria. The bitter cold day saw close to 400 people take in the tourney throughout the day, which also featured a hardest shot competition, brothel minor hockey IP game, and a brothel angels hockey game. Spicer's Moving defeated the defending champions, Thousand Islands Toyota. As well, the Boston Bruins alumni were divided between all four teams playing in Saturday's tournament. The day wrapped up with the Snowball Outdoor Skating Party at the Rotary Ice Pad. <laughs> Sunday morning was the Bruins Alumni Brunch which saw a packed community hall where fans had a chance to have autographs signed and a photo taken with the Bruins Alumni. <laughs> Then a sold-out crowd on Sunday afternoon at the Memorial Centre to watch the Boston Bruins alumni take on the local Canadian Tire All-Stars. The Bruins alumni won the game 13-12. In between the first period was the annual competition between members of the Brothel Police and Fire Departments. This year it was Zorb Ball on the ice. The second intermission featured the L. Iafredi Hardest Shot Competition, featuring the man himself. This was the second year for an alumni game which has become one of the most popular events of the Winter Classic. The committee is planning on hosting alumni from all six of the NHL's original six teams at future Winter Classics. The annual event is a fundraiser to help build a roof over the rotary ice pad. It is expected that work will begin this spring on the new roof. For Hometown TV 12 News, Dale Elliott in Brockville. Yeah!